Well, hello guys, welcome back. Um, I wanted to talk about how Loki still loves us even when he's angry with us. You guys know I really got on a short list. And I didn't even know if I would wake up and find Loki was still my god. I was really confused last night and I told him I was confused and I didn't know why the cycle seems to keep happening. And I got up and I felt a lot better because, as I said, as soon as I crawled back to Loki, I felt better. And this morning he gave me a dream, which was a metaphor. Um, In the dream, I'm walking upstairs to go to the bedrooms and there's a couple inches of cola on the ceiling. And it's bubbling and it's fizzling and it looks like it should be dripping down. And the whole, all, whole entire ceiling is like soaked with it. And there's a couple inches of it on the ceiling. I go into my bedroom. And once I've entered the bedroom, I'm in a crib and I'm looking at myself from like the top down and I'm in this crib and there's plastic sheeting all around. So it's like I'm in this place. It's still being constructed and there's two doorways. So I don't know if it matters. And there's two idiots standing there talking while the ceiling is the same way it was in the first part of the dream. There's all this cola bubbling and seething on the ceiling. You would think the ceiling was going to come down any minute, but. It was okay because Loki appeared in the first doorway and he says, he, he has his arms crossed. You could tell he's kind of dumb with me. And he says, well, you know, kind of like, look where you've gotten yourself. And I'm the one that's been taking care of you all the time. I'll go take care of this. And he, he disappeared around the corner and I woke up. And I was afraid it was a literal dream and the roof was going to fall off the house. He says, no. And he says, you can't afford the insurance anyway, so don't worry about it. But the point was... As angry as he was, he pointed out that he's a god that's been taking care of me. And I was like a little baby being left with idiots that were too busy talking to each other, being in each other's fan club, to be taken care of. And I got lectures all day long, which I totally deserved. But the point is, Loki still loves us when he's angry with us. He was terribly angry with me. He was terribly hurt. Not so much for his own self, though it does hurt a god when they love you and you, you know, you toddle away from devotion to go chase this other god. But also because, um, I put myself in harm's way. And it was either Loki or Odin, I'm not sure at this point, because everybody showed up to yell at me, including Uncle Seth. Um, said that, you know, when do you think these things are coming they promised you? Because the Greek gods had all promised me all sorts of things. He says, you fool. You got them these statues. You made them these altars. You gave them instant devotion. You believed in them entirely. And you didn't get a damn thing in return. And he says, does that teach you a lesson yet? Because I hadn't figured out why would Loki let these gods come in? And why would he let me buy statues and everything? He wanted me to learn my lesson. And he knew if he hit me financially, I would learn my lesson and that it would hurt and I would learn my lesson. He says, if these gods really care for you, if they really loved you, you would have an abundance of signs that they love you. You would be getting all this stuff. He says, we're, we're the ones that have been answering you. He said, oh, they'll show up if there's a good time involved and, you know, you're going to go off and do irresponsible things. But we're the ones that have been taking care of you. And so, you know, he will still take care of us when he's angry. Um, He will still heal us. He will still, you know, provide for us. He was walking with me through town. And it was, you could feel how furious he was. You could feel he was absolutely done with me. But at the same time, he's my God. And he loves me. And he was going to be damned if any car hit me. So it was almost like, not quite, but like feel physical shoving you over. And putting himself between me and danger. And that's what a God that loves you does. A God that loves you puts themselves between you and danger. A God that loves you takes care of stuff you don't even know is coming. Because that's their job. They're your family. They love you. They're supposed to protect you. And he said, I don't care if you play with these playmates at some later point in time. But they are obviously no good influence. They're out. They're just, they're out. He said, if they really care for you, you would have all the stuff they promised you and more. He said, no, they're out. You didn't get some big miracle from any of them, any of the stuff they promised you for our lies. He's just, he's completely done. And all father was completely done. Now that's in my case. I want to make it clear. It's not like the Norse gods hate the Greek gods. But in my case, 
They're very pissed off. They're like, you didn't get anything you were given, uh, promised to be given. So, you know, according to Norse law, I'm under no obligation because they broke the code of trust. They didn't give me any of the things they promised in return for worship. So as far as the All Father is concerned, and the All Father is in charge, I... <laughs> I, I am not going back. He's like, no, they owe you goods and services. And I get this strange idea that these goods and services are going to be delivered, whether, you know, other parties like it or not. And the part that showed up to talk with me, to deal with being angry, was the destroyer, the world breaker, the closer. Um, kind of in that way that I'm very angry and disappointed in you because you put yourself in harm's way. Loki really doesn't care how many gods we worship. I could have worshipped and carried on with every god in existence. <laughs> he's back or covering his face. He's calming down a little, but, you know, he still loves us when he's angry. Um, he wouldn't care if you carried on with every god in existence. He wouldn't care if you worship Jehovah and Jesus and Mary and all the angels and saints and worship Loki. He wouldn't care. He cares when you put yourself in harm's way. He cares when you devalue yourself and you start following gods around like a little psychophant. Um, our Norse gods ask us to have self-respect. If you kneel in front of a Norse god, you're probably going to get some kind of off-color comment I can't make on YouTube. Um, <laughs> you don't... If it's in your makeup that you feel you have to, that's one thing. Um, you'll probably get a free pass, but you don't debase yourself in front of the Norse gods. Um, they don't need us to kneel. They don't need us to submit. They do need us to listen. They do need respect, but they don't need us to kneel and be really submissive in everything else. Um, the problem with Lokians is we don't listen to a damn thing, including Loki. And sometimes it hurts us and sometimes we get burned. I'm not really hurt. I'm not surprised. Um, I have that personality that runs in my family to go towards addictive things that aren't good for me. We have a lot of alcoholics and drug addicts in the family, which is no shame. It's just it's something in our DNA. We're pre-position, predisposition to do things that will hurt us in the long run. So Loki's being tolerant, but even though he's angry, he's still here. And that's a th the thing to remember. If you've made Loki angry... Make up to him whatever way you can. And it'll just take time. It'll take time for you to prove that whatever it is you did that made him angry, you truly understand. Even if you don't understand, fake it until you make it. Fake it until you make it because you don't understand why maybe you think the gods can do this, but you can't. Or you thought you weren't doing anything bad or you even thought you were doing the right thing. If Loki is mad at you, it's for a good reason. Um, He's mad because... um. It's not my job to worship every god in the universe, not my job to feel sorry for any gods. And I should have common sense. He and the All Father taught me common sense. Voodon Law taught me common sense. And they're just, they're all completely disgusted with me. No one will talk to me now except for, you know, Loki and Thor's been our total rock. Thor's ha Thor has empathy. Thor is quite familiar with going off and doing things that you probably shouldn't have ought to done. Um, he's one of the good guys, but he knows all about that, and he's had absolute sympathy for me. He's like, oh, yeah, it's just the family nature to go off and have a good time, but you you had too much of a good time. Now the family's mad at you. So, you know, um, the gods will still love us, even when we've done wrong things. There's no hellfire waiting for us because we made mistakes during our life. We get to answer in the here and now, which is a blessing. I'm paying for what I did in the here and now. And although Loki's still quite angry, um, he will eventually relent because he doesn't want to totally lose me. Um, and he will do that for anyone else. It's not like I'm special sparkle princess. He will eventually relent, but he will be mad for as long as he chooses to be mad because you did something to put yourself in danger. 99 times out of 100, that's why he gets pissed off with you, just so you know. If he thinks you're putting yourself in danger or being a fool, he might even let you do it and let you do it repeatedly. But he will still be angry every single time. So if you guys like what you see, you know, like, comment, subscribe. You can get back into his good graces, but you have to mean it. Don't just make up because you don't want to, you know, lose any benefits. Make up because you care about him and you love him and he's your friend as well as your God. and Make up because you, even if you don't understand entirely what you did wrong, you know he's angry and you've heard him. And that should be reason enough to make up. So we had coffee today, incense, candles, everything. And 
I'm sorry for what I did. I can't control my nature sometimes. I know that's one of my flaws. And he understands that. So I think that's going to be something I'm going to have to work on in the coming winter season to, you know, control my tendencies to have poor impulse control at times. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.